Good afternoon, distinguished ministers, esteemed delegates, mining sectors executive, ladies and gentlemen. It is a real privilege to address you today at the prestigious mining in our 2024 summit to discuss opportunities within Africa's and equatorial Guinea's mining sector. It is also a great honor to be listened to by all the esteemed delegates. For decades, the extractive sector have been Africa's socio-economic development and with the fourth industrial revolution and energy transition underway, the role of the sector continues to expand. From stimulating job creation to growth GDP, growth and infrastructure development, the mining sector is a vital pillar of Africa's economy. Equatorial Guinea is indeed one of the best examples to this in the region on how the extractive sector can improve the quality of living of people, can bring the best social and producing infrastructure. This is a reality and a perception. Last year, during the Africa Energy Week, I spoke about how, when it comes to Equatorial Guinea, we needed to address the country based on reality and data and not based on perception. While well, Equatorial Guinea has traditionally focused on oil and gas, we are opening our mining sector up to private investment, implementing reforms, establishing protocols, creating an enabling environment, and streamlining contracts to attract the necessary knowledge, skills, technology, and capital to develop the sector. On the 1st of February this year, the Parliament ratified the most comprehensive and aggressive tax law in the history of our nation placing the country straight in the lead of the most attractive big mining, big business destination. We announced this in New York. We announced this in South Africa during the Africa Oil Week event. We have started interactions already with important mining players. We are very much interested in exploring opportunities, gold, diamond, bauxite, cotton, iron, titanium, and others. An aggressive desire to be linked and to interact with the geological data acquisition best known companies is also underway to strengthen the quality of our current data and reach new levels of knowledge of our geology and determine the scope of exploration. EG is currently engaging in an open door policy to promote its mining sector. We have enhanced our interactions with the best companies in mining promotions and we will continue to do so in order to cover the US, Asia, Europe, Africa, etc. Meanwhile, we are already organizing the most and aggressive licensing round we have never been into to be launched in May 2024. The Rio Muni mainland represents a highly prospective exploration frontier as we embark on an economic and energy diversification program, we are confident the mining sector will generate more revenues, create jobs, and enhance cooperation with regional markets. The same cooperation Equatorial Guinea embarked itself on the oil and gas sector with our neighbors. We welcome exploration and mining companies, service firms, and investors to join us in unlocking the country's mineral resources potential. I would like to thank the organizers of Mining in Dara 2024 for this opportunity to address you and to showcase Equatorial Guinea's burgeoning mining prospects. I wish you great discussions, partnerships, these signings, Equatorial Guinea's open to business.